Hey guys, it's Maddie, aka Freaking Bulldozer, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I am doing the Booktornet All Star Charity Challenge. This is a challenge slash tag type of video created by Rachel Marie. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description box to her YouTube channel and to this video specifically. Basically, it's where um, she's going to be donating one euro up to every like video submission, and I think Instagram and stuff like that counts as well, up to 75 euros. So, 75 videos, Instagram things too, maybe? Uh, she will be donating the euro, up 75, yes. And I saw this, and I was like... I have to do this. Like, I instantly knew that I wanted to do this video, so, uh, here I am, doing it. We're gonna get a little controversial, and I just wanna say that real quick. These are my opinions. I live in America, so I'm allowed to have my own opinions. So, if I don't like a book that you like, that's 100% fine. I just don't like it, and that's that. So, <laughs> We're gonna start off controversial, eh? Uh, this is the first person that you, you check off is check off, you know? So the first person on here is Angie Tal Angie Tamis. What the heck? Where did that come from? <laughs> so the first person on here is Angie Thomas, the author of The Hate You Give and On the Come Up. I've only read The Hate You Give, and I did not like it. I gave it two out of five stars. So, yes, moving on. Next up, you have the Shadow Me series by Tahara Mafi. I like this series. I have all of the books from the series except Ignite Me. I'm waiting for it to come out in paperback because I want my books to match. But yes, I like the series. I've read it. The first book, Shadow Me. Um, not the best when it comes to writing, and also Insta Love is very heavy in that book, but that's fine because sometimes you just want to read a little bit of a trashy story. And I'm not saying like the book is trash, I'm just saying that it's not the best, it's not the best when it comes to writing and story and plot and stuff like that, but it's really good. And I think that if you, when you, you can tell how much Ta Tahara Mafia has improved when you read the first book and then you read Restore Me, I think you can really tell how much the author has improved when it comes to writing. Which makes sense, ow. Which makes sense because she's written two, has she only written two other books since she wrote the Shadow Me series? I'm not sure, but she has other books that she's written since she wrote the first book in the series, so it makes sense that the further along the series gets, the better her books come. Then you have Lee Bardugo. This is where the video always gets messed up. Yes, I have read Lee Bardugo, I have met Lee Bardugo, and I am controversial when it comes to Lee Bardugo. So, the Grisha, Grisha trilogy, which is her debut trilogy, I gave the first book five stars, the second book five stars, and the third book I gave four stars, but I think I've already read it now, it'd be four, five, four. Um, basically, I like Siege and Storm the best. I think Siege and Storm is my favorite Lee Bardugo book because Nikolai is introduced, and I love Nikolai. If you talk about King of Scars and Nikolai, I hate him because I don't like King of Scars. Um, I went to the tour for King of Scars and I was so excited and then I read it, which I have a video on it, so I'll leave that down below. And I did not like it. So, you know, yeah, I DNF the King of Scars. I DNF Cookie Kingdom. I gave Six of Crows four stars. I gave her short story novella. I would say five, but I don't actually have a rating for that. And I haven't read Ninth House yet. I wanted to read Ninth House, and then I got King of Scars, and then didn't like it. So now, nah. so I was like a little worried about it. And then I read Sarah J. Mass's debut into Adult, and I didn't like that one. So now I'm scared to read Lee Bardugo's debut into Adult, but I think I should give her a try. And if I do not like Ninth House, I would think I'm safe to say that I'm done with Lee Bardugo. The next one is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Yeah, it's up on my top shelf, and if you're wondering what does that mean, it means it's on the shelf where I put the books I don't like. I DNF this book about 125 pages in. I just can't get behind the relationship between Cardin and Jude. Granted, I don't know which one's the male and which one's the female. I think Cardin's the male, but I have no idea. I just can't get behind it. They're like, they had this Faye book, and they're like, oh yes, Faye book, let's go publish it! And then they published it, and it blew up, because Faye were really popular. 
popular. And then like, everyone's like, oh, it's such a good book. And I'm like, oh, but is it really? Because it's, yeah. And then um, I think, I don't know what her name is, but she did a really fantastic video on it. I'll leave, here's a, here's the photo of the channel and linked in the description box I will have a video I'll have a link to this video because I think it's really a good video and I think it explains my thoughts about the cruel prince really well and I think you should go watch that one. Next up you have The Bone Witch by Rin Topeko. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't read this book. I don't know what it's about and I don't think I have any interest in reading it. Granted it's got a purple cover and I think it matches my walls. So maybe I will look into it just because of that. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, okay. Next up you have Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I own one of her books, which is A Darker Shade of Magic, and I tried to read it and I, when I was like, like earlier in my book two beat days, and I was like, oh yes, let's read V.E. Schwab. Like I tweeted it out, I was like, I'm gonna start my first V.E. Schwab book, woo! And then I didn't even finish the first chapter, so yeah. I do want to actually give her a physical, like an actual chance. I'm very interested in her books. I'd like to read her books, but I don't know. Maybe I'll start off with like her middle grade, like with her middle grade series. I think she only has one. The City of Ghosts. I think I'll start off with that maybe when I get to wanting to read her books. But right now, The Darker Shade of Magic is an inter interesting me and neither is the author, more or less. I thought it said two, and I was like, I've only been filming this video for two minutes. The next one on here is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I have not read this, but I know they got new covers, and if I wasn't already interested in them before, which I was, uh, the new covers would definitely make me interested in them even more, and I am. I would like to read this series, and I think the new covers are absolutely gorgeous, so eventually I'd like to read this series, but I haven't read it yet. Next up you have Adam Salvera, who is mostly known for a contemporary, but um, earlier this year? Was it, was it like January 2020 he came out with his debut into fantasy? Yeah, I have no interest in that. I don't have any interest in him as an author. He mostly writes contemporary, and I don't really like contemporary. And his first fantasy book, Burning Sun, is that what it was? It's really mixed reviews, and I know a lot of people on booktube don't like it, so... I think I'll pass on him. Next up you have Cassandra Clare. And I did not know this was Cassandra Clare, but it is. And I haven't read a single thing by her. And I don't have an interest in reading anything by her. She's the author of the Mortal Instruments series and all of that. Uh, the Shadowhunter world is what she's written. And I just... I don't have a fan. I'm not, I don't have an interest. I don't have a fan. I don't have any interest in these books. I watched the first two seasons of the TV show, and the acting is absolutely horrible in the first season. My goodness. Um, but yeah. So. Next up, you have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read this book. I really like this book. I have it four out of five stars. If you want to watch my reading vlog for it, I'll leave that link in the description box. And if you would like to watch my live show discussion on this for my book club, that's also in the description box. But I think you should just watch the spoily reading vlog because it's better than the discussion. Then you have Lainey Taylor, the author of The Daughter of a Spoke of Throat. Daughter of... Hmm. Next up you have Lainey Taylor, who is the author of the Daughter of Spoken Bones trilogy and the Muse, nope, Strange the Dreamer duology. I haven't read either of those, but I am interested in the uh, Daughter of Smoke with the Bones trilogy. They also just got new covers and I like those covers, so. Next up you have Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I have read this book. I read it earlier this year. I have a reading vlog on it, which is horrible on my channel. It got two views. Uh, but I really like that video, so it's linked in the description box as well. I used book four to five stars. I really liked it. Granted, I have no idea what was happening until the end of it. I was like, oh, that happened. But before then, I was like, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yep, okay. Don't know what happened, but okay. Next you have Scythe by Neil Schusterman. 
I have not read this series. I do want to. I've heard that the second book is the best out of the series, which is like the opposite for every other one. It's like the middle book is suffering from middle book syndrome. But not this one. It's like, ha ha, I'll come out on top of all you middle books. Yes. Sorry. My mom just texted me. Okay. I have a lot of texts. My granny just got her book. This video is horrible. And here I am right now struggling with whether or not I should refilm this or just forget about it. But I'm like, dude, you need a massive bang trim and your hair doesn't look that bad right now. So why would you waste this opportunity? So what do I do, guys? What do I do? Just continue on. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Next up you have Sarah J. Mass, which is one of my favorite authors. She is my favorite author at the moment. I've read every single one of her books, which I actually have a video that I that I'll link down below where I've ranked every single one of her books from like my favorite to my least favorite, except they got like cool little Sarah J. Mass like fandom inside jokes things uh yeah i like all i love i love her um i don't like her most recent books i did not like crescent city i gave that two stars and i do not like kingdom of ash i gave that three stars I, the reason i don't like them is they're way too long you could cut so much out of both of them so i think that's what needs to be done because i don't like them i find them too boring and I will buy everything from her though. I will buy every Sarah J Mass book until she becomes like Lee Bardugo and I'm just like I don't like her newer books. And so like if I don't like your newer books, then I'm not gonna buy your newer newer books. You know? But right now, I'm sticking through the mud. Um, okay, next up you have An Ember in the Ashes by Sahaba Tahir. I've not read this book yet, but I do want to. I think it sounds interesting. I have, um, like, book, I have, like, bookish merch from this series because I have, I got a Illuminate, a Lumicrate book box, so it came with that. And so I do want to read this book. I'm very entertained and very interested in it. Um, I think I'd like it. I think I would because Ava Tuzak from... I don't know if I said her last name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. But from Kingdom of Mass, she loves this series, I know, because she was posting about the release of the fourth book. So if she likes it, I think I'd like it. Because we've had a good track record so far. I have no idea who this last person is. Who is this? Who is this author? I don't know who it is. She's Sheldon McGuire. I haven't read anything by her, but I do want to read Middle Game because it's, it is uh, Kayla from Books and Lala's favorite book. I do want to read Middle Game, but other than that, I haven't read a single thing by that author. Maybe eventually. The second to last one is The Poppy War by R.F. Kong? I don't know how to say the last name. I haven't read this, but I want to. I think I really would like it. It is a fantasy book. I think I'm going to. I think I would like this book. I think I would cry during this book. And I want to read it so bad. But I don't have a copy of it. And also, this cover is gorgeous. It is freaking beautiful. So, I haven't read it yet, but I desperately want to. I think out of all of these books that I haven't read, this is the one that I want to read the most. And also my battery's about to die. Let's continue on real quick. Um, and then the final one on here is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I own this book. I've tried to read this book several times. I never get past the first chapter. I don't like the way it's written. It just feels like so, so, so much. It doesn't make any sense. I just don't like it. It's contemporary. And I'm, I, I watched the first movie, and I was like, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, but 
I haven't read the books. I do want to. No, I don't. What, why did I say I do want to? I'm just so used to saying I do want to. I don't want to read the books. I think eventually I'm going to get rid of the first book because I don't like it. I don't like the way it's written. I don't like Jenny Han's writing style. So there we go. Finish the tag. It only took a break. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because this video is a... Huh? Mm. Wow. Hmm. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every single Monday. And uh, if you have anything you want to comment, you can comment them down below. If you don't agree with me, don't come at me because, again, these are all my personal opinions and I'm allowed to say them. Maybe I shouldn't say them on the internet, but I'm allowed to have them at least. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next Monday for another video. And, hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. Bye.